Hey, I'm Louise. I am a villager and also part owner of this hotel. And today I'm one out of four in the managing team here, working every day at the hotel. And can you give me some background about how this became a hotel? Yeah, actually it was built as a hotel and uh, also an inn, restaurant in the 50s. But pretty soon, uh, already in the 60s, it was bought by the military that made it into a military school, you can say. And they ran it as a military school uh, late 90s, but then left it and left it empty. So when me and my family moved here in uh, 2003, it has been empty and closed down for a while. And the villagers were wondering what will happen to it. And then what you do? What happened was that 2006, the military decided to sell it. And since it is in the center of the village, really, uh, and a lot of the uh, older villagers had great memories from this uh, restaurant and hotel time. They have, uh, for example, had their wedding parties here and things like that. They wanted it to go back to the old times and be lit up, uh, really a center in the, in the village again and asked around in the village if people were interested and they were and a small team decided to check out how to do it and they decided to make it um, like an uh, LLC I think you could translate it into English Aktiebolag in Swedish and asked the villagers if they wanted to buy shares and it, it, is, it was and it still is a broad uh, and a lot of owners with a broad variety of ages and yeah most of them live in the village but also a lot people that have moved out and wanted to support this idea so today it started with 140 owners and today it's more than 150 owners so that's uh, that's quite a lot and 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 uh, in what way did the owners uh, contribute to the hotel yeah you can both contribute with your time and you can contribute, of course, with ideas and just, for example, if we have a pub night, you can come here and voluntarily serve and maybe help out in the kitchen and clean and yeah, whatever is needed. So it's um, really, really a big teamwork around this. And do you also uh, uh, get shares of the hotel uh, when you're uh, giving time uh, as a volunteer? No, you don't, don't in that way. You buy shares, like aktier uh, in Swedish. I don't know what it's stock, maybe. Yeah, so uh, you can buy them. And actually, if you yourself want to be a part owner, you can buy them at Växthuset, <laughs> our neighbor company here. And uh, you get a vote by every share, of course, to vote in the yearly meeting for the company. And how do you run the hotel uh, these days? Today it is run as a hotel and restaurant. We are a team of four that work here every day. We have 16 rooms now and each is unique, decorated by families that sort of adopted the rooms and put in their time and also brought like uh, wallpapers and paint and everything like that. And in the kitchen uh, we serve every day today's lunch, 100 lunches per day, Monday to Friday. We have dinner every night and also some weekends we have parties and like um, uh, birthday parties that people have ordered or we can have pub nights approximately once a month and so a wide range of activities in this house now it's really this it it's really has become this vivid and light house in the middle of the center that the the, the starter team wanted it to be and how do you keep the, the, the crowd, the 150 uh, shareholders uh, together and also uh, engaged to the hotel on long term? Yeah, we, we try to keep them informed. Of course, once a year, it is this uh, yearly meeting for the company. And uh, together with that, we all, all, almost always have a dinner or a pub night connected to that, that we invite everybody. And also every spring and every autumn, we have like, uh, what do you call it, uh, spring and winter and autumn tidying days where we, we do extra things like out, out in the garden and putting in, out uh, furnitures for the summer and in for the winter. In the house it could be extra, extra things made like uh, fixing different things, paintings, all sorts of things like managing things that needs to do be done. <laughs> and uh, we invite all the members to do that.
And, and uh, what do you think is the key of the success of this? Uh, uh, or what are your lessons learned? I think the key thing is that it's so open. I mean, open, everybody feels, at, at least, at least we, we hope that everybody really feels that it's open to come with ideas. It, it's open to just join in as one uh, member of the team, equal. So this, do like this, I know uh, it's a lot of people doing like this. It's like, but it's, this is really the key, that you look upon everybody as uh, equal. So, okay, I am one of the managers, but uh, talking about how to do things, we are really equal. It could be whoever that comes with the idea and we really take it seriously. And uh, as an example, uh, one neighbor here just popped by, uh, didn't even was a part owner, just a neighbor that said, have you any ideas for this summer for flowers outdoors? And we said, no, but I have some ideas. Can I do them? Yes, feel free. And just, we just, let the idea go free and suddenly there were four beautiful pots out here and the person donated the flowers and yeah that was one great thing out of many that has happened here so it's also a place where the rest of the village is really proud of yeah that's true so maybe that is also yeah. one of the most key so i uh, think yeah and also this um it's many owners it's a quite big um, what is that the board but it works really and we do everything uh, discussed until ev everybody, everybody agrees. So it's not a voting down or voting, let's, let's, let's do it 50-50 or something. It, we continue with the dis discussions till everybody agrees and we, are, we do it together. Yeah. Yeah.